Hi, my name is Danyan. I'm the Academic Community Manager at Optipi. I'm going to show you how to navigate through our cohort-based learning management system. As soon as you've logged in and created an account, you will be required to create a school. You can use this school to organize your classes under one umbrella, or you will be able to create multiple schools depending on how you wish to organize your teaching. You can enter a school description, an article, you may even link a website if you have any or add a social link, as well as add a school name and logo. After doing so, you'll be navigated to the dashboard, where all your teaching will be organized in one place. If you have any scheduled materials inside the class, they will be shown according to your calendar. If you have not begun yet, then you will simply see all the action buttons you can take to begin your teaching journey. If you would like to see a day before, you can click on the calendar and look at what you have. If you have a scheduled live session and it is about to begin, you may simply click Start Meeting Now and Zoom directly with your students on the platform. You may always go back weeks in time and check what materials you had assigned for that day in case you wanted to revise anything. You also have a notepad where you will be able to leave notes according to specific days, a bulletin board that notifies you of any notifications in the school, as well as a story feature where you may add a story, select the class you want to share the story to, and interact with your students outside the academic space. Your students may also send you some stories and you may approve or reject them. The dashboard can be filtered according to all your classes or by a specific class that you've created. If you would like to create a class, simply click on Add New and you may start your teaching journey by either creating a class or starting by creating the resources. It is completely up to you. If you choose to create a class, you may choose between an open class or a scheduled class and you can create as many classes as you'd like. An open class is a self-paced class. That means the student can join at any time and complete the material according to their own pace. Once they're enrolled, you may still give them some live sessions. Whereas a scheduled class means that the class has a specific duration, a start and an end date. And on the materials inside are scheduled according to date and time. They also include live sessions. When you choose to create a class, simply enter the class information necessary and you will be able to set the class as a prized class or a free one. You may also attach anything you want to show the students what they will learn if they enroll in your class. After doing so, I'm going to show you an example of a class I have created. It is called Education Technology Advanced. I have assigned myself to lead and teach this class. If I press Assign Teacher, I can choose somebody else from my list to teach the class. I can also enter a very detailed class description with a video and other supporting references. If I want to populate my class with material, I can do so by adding an activity, which could be a scheduled live session using our direct Zoom capability with Zoom, or an in-person session where you can actually meet your students face-to-face -face and schedule a meet and greet, or you can create your resource. Choose between a material, assessment, or assignment. You may attach anything you want in terms of a video, PDF, a PowerPoint, or even create an assessment like a multiple choice quiz in order to keep your student engagement high. You may also add a link if you would like to curate some resources for your students to see. You will always be able to link your resource to objectives. We actually have an objective space where you could create your own program and manually add objectives, or you can add a preset standard and use our integrated curriculas to link your resource to official objectives. And those objectives come in three languages, English, Arabic, and French. You may also, when you're adding an activity in your class, add an activity from your library. This means that you can recycle content and you do not need to do the work again. To show you an example of a resource I created, you can see the mood meter assignment. Here I have added for students a picture and some videos. I am able to see my student rating in terms of what they thought about this resource. 
If I would like to invite students to attend the class and I know the student, I can click on the invite button, share a link with the student or invite them via email. I'm also able to publish the class to the Explore Classes page where students browsing the Octopi website can view my class and choose to enroll. Once a student enrolls, you may see their class progression rate. That means how much of the material have they actually created. If you click on it, you will see in detail which resource they have chosen to open and if whether or not they have submitted anything. You can open the resource you have given them, go to attach and comment, and look at what the student has submitted. You may also have a conversation with the student regarding the specific resource and choose to score it. If you would like to personalize material for that student, you may also add a resource or schedule an event specific to that student, which allows them to get a differentiated experience. If you look at the left side on the vertical column, you will notice that we have libraries for everything. If you have created a class based on the class type, it will go into its designated library. That means you can always go back to the class, copy it, and rename it and run it again. You do not need to repeat the work. Same with the resources, they will be aggregated in your library and you may filter them according to the resource material you have created. In terms of the people and collaborators in your school, you can click on teachers and add and invite anybody you wish to collaborate with and click on their name and assign certain permissions or even have a discussion with them. If you would like to change your profile, click on the profile icon and click my profile in order to customize the profile like you wish. You also have in the profile setting a payment setting. Once you choose that, you will be able to streamline your payment collection if your class has a price. We work with two payment systems, TAP for accounts in the Middle East and Stripe for international accounts and accounts in the UAE. Each account has a specific set of instructions for you to instantly link your payment to your account and to be able to receive payments in a seamless way. If you would like to chat with your colleagues and your students, you can click on the messaging board and actually chat with them in groups or each individual student by himself. You can click on the notification icon to stay up to date with any notifications going on in your school and change the language between English and Arabic. Thank you.